Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition of Star Citizen Offline. Uh, I decided I would do something a little bit different today. Um, basically the same thing, but ever so slightly different. Um, I've noticed I've been showing a lot of the ICC missions and a lot of the comm arrays and thought today I would show off um, the other mission that I don't think I have recorded yet. So I'm taking out the pirate caterpillar today uh, as I just love the internals. Oh, it's such a beautiful ship. I love the Drake aesthetic. You know, it's so utilitarian and so, um, oh, what is the phrase? Uh, you know, no bells and whistles, no frills, uh, just there to do a job, and that's it. You know, no paneling, you got all these exposed uh, innards and wires, and I just, I love it. It's so, I don't know, it reminds me of like a warehouse, or like um, one of those types of uh, apartments that you would see in like New York City, where it's like, uh, they call it like an artist something I, I don't know what the hell they would call it but you know it's like really really low uh, uh, I don't know what would you call it if you can think of what I'm trying to say leave it down in the comments because I would uh, like to uh, define it properly this is something I'm really excited for I can't wait until the tractor beam works how do you think that's going to work? You think uh, it's going to be like a mini game? That's kind of what it looks like it's going to be set up as here. You know, like uh, maybe you, you're looking at this screen, but in actuality you have maybe a rever uh, remote view looking out. And then uh, I'd have to imagine you'd be able to open up the differing cargo modules, pop them open, and then maybe guide them in. Something along those lines. That I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, shortly after the advent of 3.0, we will have our grubby little mitts on that. <laughs> At least my grubby little mitts. You might you might wash your hands more often. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Alright, so let's jump in the pilot seat. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. Alright. Now, one of the things... One of the... F uh, I wouldn't say few. Ah, uh, screw it. One of the few gripes that I have with the Caterpillar is it doesn't like to uh, take off. So, like, for instance, I am now pressing down take off. And look at it. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. Pull up a little bit. Look, it's still nothing. And now I've let go of space. I don't like that. It should be able to take off. There's no reason it should be having that much trouble. So if I hold it down and then maybe pull up, like look, I have to physically pull it off the landing Launch pad complete. and then try to stabilize it. Landing request approved. Alrighty, let's landing pull. Gear up. And so the mission I'm going to be showing is the PI mission, private Thank investigator. You for my husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalex station, but the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalex station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable and really I just want to know the truth. I attach the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. And I hope to hear from you soon, one way or another. So, uh, basically, once you a, initiate the mission, you get a, um, you get hailed on the comm channels. Um, uh, not even really sure what, what this woman's name is. But she tasks you with finding out what happened to her husband and her husband's now derelict station. Now, 
A lot of people have probably seen or even taken part in this mission, but fewer have actually done the extra steps to get the full payout. Um, now, most people will go through, uh, go... This Kovalex shipping hub is currently closed to the public. Oh, thank you. I apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it's a good thing that I'm a pirate. Yar, har, har, har. Okay. I said I would stop, but I keep doing that cheesiness. Okay, um, so when you get to... Warning. Twice. You are trespassing on Kovalex private property. Anywho, so, um, once you get to, uh, the AO of the PI mission, as you'll see, you'll get pinged a couple times by what seems like the automated, uh, information dispatcher. I'm not even sure what that would be called correctly, but, luckily, we've got this giant-ass ship, so let's try to pull up and dock right with the giant hole in the side of the system. Er, I'm sorry, station. Hopefully I won't slam into it. Ooh, that was close. Get a little closer. And tap. Oh yeah, that's nice and close. Oh, oh. alright, maybe just ever so lightly more. What do you think, is that enough? A little further? A little further. I want to try to match this up as well as possible. That looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, that's better. Nudge that debris. Oh no! Not too far. I had it perfect. There goes the debris. Alright, there. That should be good. So, now that we are in position... Time to... Time to pirate up the station. Yar. I said I would stop, and there I go again. So let's run down the catwalks. And I think this is... There we go. This is such a cool little observation room. There's the uh, top turret, in case you were not aware. Pop down. Boom. Talk about door to door service, huh? So, when you get in. This station is currently off limits. Please vacate the area. No. So, once you get in, um. Basically, you're tasked with finding these data pads. Hey, Darno. It's Rosine over at Corporate Ops. Give me a shout back when you clock in. Just wanted to follow up a bit on the distro issue. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Darno. Rosine again. Still need to sync up about the power distribution problem. Where are you, man? Getting tired of waiting, Darno. Call me. So, basically, as you can probably figure out, the data pads have audio logs in them which start to put together a story. Um, and that basically helps you come to the conclusion as to what occurred at this station. Now, the mistake that a lot of people make is they just kind of take the mission uh, at base value. So this is going to be the second data pod, uh, pad. I just got the package you sent. Thanks a million for the Mobimon. It is incredible. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. The crew surprised me with a shindig. That's why we did. Hey, Anya! Holy shit, is that a bottle of Esquire? Oh, damn right. How did you afford this? Uh, let's talk. <laughs> hey, don't know. Hey, don't know. Get in on this. Oh, come on! Jeez, Darnell, look, just one. Maybe a sip. There we go. Bye, Anya! Let's go. Darnell, one more, one more. Hey, look, I'm gonna get back to it, but let me know how your dissertation's going. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. 
Thank you again for the person. Bye, babe. So I gotta say, the very first time that I played this mission, this is what blew me the fuck away. Um, I remember leaving my, my little Aurora MR, there's a third pad down there, um, and exiting, you know, going from one space station to another. Where the hell have you been? Your shift started three hours ago. I know. I'm sorry. I did a breakdown of the current power flow for the station, and it's looking like I'll need to run a stress test on the whole system to see where the runoff is. Uh, okay. Hey, just be careful. Will do. I'll keep a close eye on it. Sounds good. You sure you're okay? You sound terrible. Yeah. It was Scott's birthday last night, so we were all up a little later than we should have been. Alright. Let me know when you're finished running the test. Will do. So, um, I remember playing this in my, my little Aurora MR and going from the station to my ship to finding this and going inside and just seeing the, the sheer, uh, I don't know, just size and damage and all the uh, stories to figure out, and I just fell in love. Now, this is generally where people make the mistake. So, they come up that elevator shaft and they see upload evidence, and they'll upload what they have, and that will give them... Well, I mean, that'll complete the mission, and you'll get, I think, what is it, a thousand UEC? Yep, so that'll get, that'll net you the 1,000. But, you venture out into here first, and you might have already seen it when I was looking around during that uh, story snippet, but there's another data pad right over here. That one, I believe, is just um, text. Then, if we slink up this way... There is yet another data pad. I think this one is audio. Nope, that one is also uh, text. So if we go down this way, we As you can see, another data pad. Now, you'd think, okay, that must be all the data pads. Well, I hate to break it to you, you'd be wrong. That's almost all of the data pads. So now, if we go from here, back up, and go down this way, you will see these. Now, if you try to access these previous to getting all the data pads that I have since collected, nothing will occur. But now, we've got the codes to enter in. And in this room here, we have cigars. And you can pick these up and make a few bucks off of them, a few extra bucks. And I thought maybe there was alcohol, but I could be mistaken. Then from here, Let's just get that out the way. Then there's this door. And look at that. There's a shotgun. That's a nice little Easter egg secret. Um, if you don't have weapons or don't have money for weapons, you do this mission and do it in the way that I just showed you, you just get a free shotgun. But be aware. Want to let you know that I got the Ops guy's passcode last night. Took a whole damn bottle of Esquire to do it. Ooh. Talk about being able to hold your liquor. I set the routine to bypass the monitoring protocols at 1400. The crates should go through, no problem. Just be ready at the drop, alright? By the way, had to change over the security stuff. Codes attached. So as you saw, sometimes when you go up to the door, it doesn't automatically uh, pop open again. That can also happen if there's another player in the area that hasn't um, gotten all the data pads. So usually if you just reverse all the way up, uh, all the way back, and then proceed forward, it'll pop for you. Now, I wonder if I could get that into the caterpillar. I'm coming back for that. But in the meantime, <clears throat> for the PI mission, we have now collected oop, all of the data pads. And as you heard in that last snippet, we've also uncovered the full story. 
come to find out, this woman's husband was not responsible for the crash. In fact, it was the smugglers. Uh, and we will get a little bit more information on that shortly. So we upload the evidence. It's now complete. Now remember, this mission originally was 1,000 credits. I wanted to let you know that I got the information you sent. And if what you found is true, I owe you a very big thank you. And Kovalex owes me and my husband an apology. Thank you again. I'm uploading your payment to your account now. And thud. And thud. Oh yeah, I'm really going to try to get this into the caterpillar. Never tried it. And this might even give us enough time. Um, I completely got thrown off what I was saying now. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is, I really want to try to get this into the caterpillar if I can. Um, I heard that you're actually able to do so. Um, and it looks like it's taking the light with it. I don't want the light. I have plenty of light. Um, but yeah, so we have now found out the full story of the ICC mission and very shortly we should be getting a message that will fill us in uh, to the results the results of the information that we found out and I mean you know th this machine it's just sitting here you know it's not getting any use there's 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 no reason for it to be here so really we're doing it a service bringing this uh, home if you will now the hard part is getting it just right without overshooting it. Let's see if we can literally ride it down. Oh! Almost. Again, I don't want to knock it too far too fast. And have to bring it all the way back up again. So, oh, oh, Jesus, what was that? Alright, come on, Benny. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Alright, tap it in. Just tap it in. It's all in the wrist. There we go. Alright, tap, tap, tap a root. Just tap it in. I can't believe this. Uh, I've actually never tried this before, and I've never gotten it this far. Um... So this will be exciting if I can if I can get it. It I can see the finish line. It is so close. So close. Please don't get stuck on the ceiling. Um so yeah, basically this is the entirety of the PI mission. Um I am I mean you don't have to take the damn Big Benny's machine. Um that's not part of, of the stipulations for, for the end. Uh, this is just my my attempt because I have seen others do it, and I want to be a count. Oh, you know that the here she is. Worked. Kovalex exonerated my husband. Yay! And the insurance company gave me the full claim. On yes. top of all that, the advocacy was able to arrest the people that Melisowski had been working with. Turns out there was a reward for information leading to the smuggling ring's arrest, and I want you to have it. I cannot express how much I appreciate the hard work you did on my behalf. Made all the difference. Best of luck to you, and thanks for everything. Yay, we're heroes! And look at that, awarded an extra 1600. So if you're keeping count at home, that's 2600 UEC, or AUEC, 
for what should have been a 1000 AUEC mission. So now something tells me this is where it's going to get difficult as I don't want to overshoot this and have it go um, past the entrance. As long as I can get it into the gravity uh, gravity grid, it should just plop right in there. It'll probably be on its side, but that'll still be a mission accomplished in my mind. All right, so all right, all right. I gotta gotta calm down, calm down. Don't get so excited. Oh my God, the finish line is right there. Let's pop it up a bit. Boop. Just a bit. All right, let's go third person. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it's happening. Just a little tap, 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 tap a -roo. Just tap it in. Oh oh, you're going a little high there. I'm going a little high there, Ben. Boop. Da, 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 da. Ooh, maybe I should go to uh, Benny's Henge. Y'all ever seen Benny's Henge? Do you want to see Benny's Henge? Maybe I'll show you Benny's Henge. Oh, 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 get in there. Boop. Yes. Oh, and it is in. And it is in. Oh, Tom, it's... Alright, can we put... Yes! That's what I wanted to do. That's how it's done. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. And one more. There we go. This was exciting. I have never gotten this in here. And look, it's still it's still doing the music. All right, let's see what happens if we try to take off with it, shall we? Too bad I can't like activate it or something now that it's in like gravity. That would be really cool, huh? If I could like get noodles out of it. That's okay. This is this is my precious cargo right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that is that is so exciting. I just I, I'm sorry, I've got to toot my own horn just a little bit here. I really can't believe I was able to get that in there. I've been wanting to do that for the longest time. I am so stoked. I wonder if I can drag it back to the living area. That would make more sense. Ah, you know what? It's alright. It's in the ship. Ooh, actually... Maybe I should pull it back a bit, because who knows, that could clip right through the front door, or the front hatch. Let's see. And it does seem to move pretty easily, so screw it. Let's, let's slide it back to the habitation area. Yes, oh, that glides nicely. Oh, oh, that's not good. No, no, no. All right, all right, so let's go a little. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like it's on ice. Alright. It, oh, no, no, no. Don't get stuck. Don't you dare. Don't you dare get stuck. No, 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 no. Alright. Almost there. Almost. No, don't you dare. Oh, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, goody, goody. Okay. Alright, slow down. Slow down. It's not going anywhere. Definitely seems like it is, but it's not. It's just sliding around. We're we're good. We're good. We got oh, a derka derka, a derka derka. All right, there we go. Come on, not much further to go. In fact, I think it should be on the other side of this door. <clears throat> All right, on the other side of this door. All right, come on, just ever so lightly. No, 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 too far. Ah! There we go. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Alright. Yes! Got it in the habitation module now. 
And let's put it over here. Who needs a toilet, right? Oh, that is cool. Okay, now now I'm a little bit happier. All right. Do one more. Oh yeah, that's the money shot right there. I'm actually really proud of myself. I can't believe I actually got that in there. Alright, maybe proud of myself is a little bit much. But I'm definitely happy. Now the question is, if we take off, will the Big Benny's machine? <laughs> By that, is that thing gonna flop around? Is it gonna fly out? If it does, you know what? I don't even care. I got it in here. I'd like to bring it back to Alasar, if possible. So let's try doing that. Let's try to do it real quick like. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Oh. Your systems are online. Look at the ship. It it was up here. So that big Benny's machine has quite some mass to it by uh possibly. That means I'm just a buff buff citizen. I don't know. Alright, can we hit Alasar from here? Probably not. Nope. Alright, so let's hit... Oh, uh, let's hit 126, because I know that one's probably the closest. Alright, let's see. Is Benny's gonna fly out of the hole? So far, so good. I am not staying to fight the pirate. I do not want to lose this Benny's. Yeah, alright. Well, for once I'm actually going to uh, leave. So, screw you, you. Oh, it's an Aurora! I could have taken it. That's alright. What do you think? You think I can uh, I can get it back to Alasar? I mean, I'm already here, but all right, coming in for a landing. <clears throat> Got some precious cargo on board. Need to deliver the big bennies over at Alasar has been empty for weeks. This is an emergency run. This is a humanitarian aid mission tasked by the UEE Advocacy UN Edition Landing gear down Alright, here's the moment of truth Now the question is Do I push it back to the front door or do I try to take it down the quote unquote <clears throat> Freight elevator. Oh, that's a bit close. Let's reverse ever so little. Ooh, maybe ever so little more. And that should be safe to drop. Alright. Ooh, a little rough. Let's go check on our precious cargo, shall we? You know, I swear, one of these days I'm going to have a video that is not 16 hours long. I promise. I will do my best to have a video not be this long. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. And it stayed. It actually stayed. So, now can I free it? Look at that, it's still just sliding around like it's on ice. And it's making the, the, my favorite theme song. I love it. Alright, so the fun part is going to be trying to maneuver. Oh, look at that, it's actually uh, not that difficult. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that is just splendid. That is absolutely splendid. Alright, so real, real soft like, just boop it on there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a bouncing. It's a bouncing. Boingy, boingy, boingy. And <laughs> noodle mission accomplished. I can't believe it. We did it, gang. We actually did it. We brought the vending machine from the derelict uh, Kovalec station <clears throat> back to Alasar. So with that, I think I'm going to leave the video here. In my opinion, this was quite the accomplishment. I'm actually really happy. And I couldn't have done it without all you fine folks. Thank you very much for watching. Hell yeah is right. This has been Will. If you liked what you saw, leave a like down there. You know what to do. If you want to see more of the same, leave a comment. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do this again. Oh, well, eh, maybe if enough people want to see it again, maybe I'll try it in a different, uh, a different way or a different avenue or something. Who knows? But again, thank you very much for watching. This has been Will. You have yourselves a wonderful night. Peace.